Hey, Tom Wiley here, and today I've got a tip for you on how to deal with the large two-inch ratchet straps. I've already shown you how to deal with the small one-inch ratchet straps like I've got right there. That one isn't daisy-chained right now because I just used it, uh, and I'm getting ready to use it again, so I didn't take the time to daisy-chain it. It only takes a few minutes, though. That video you can go watch and learn how to deal with the small straps, but those large straps you can't deal with the same way. They just become really unwieldy. It's just not a great way to do it. But I most I recently learned a technique from Simeon over at Swedish Homestead. He introduced me to this tip and it works really well. I have a little tweak on it though um, to make it even faster. So I'll show you that right now. <laughs> So dealing with these large two inch um, ratchet straps can be a pain. Um, they, there's a lot of length to them. I think these are maybe 27 feet or something like that. They're pretty long and it's got a big ratchet body on it. Um, they're kind of stiff to handle, especially when they're not quite broken in yet all the way. Um, so uh, they can be a, a, a big pain. Um, especially if they're not organized. Um, so I'll show you how to do this. Simeon already um, has that video on it, uh, so I'm not gonna uh, completely rehash it, but um, I'll link to it in the description below. Uh, I'll just do a quick, quick review though, um, in case you don't have time to watch his. Basically what you, what you need is you have the ratchet body end that has this ratchet part. Same, works the same as the small ratchets. Um, this style has the hook that faces, you know, either down or up. You, for this, you want to face it, start it facing down. So you'll have the ratchet handle up, the hook down. You also want to end up with the, the strap end having the, its hook pointing down also. What you're going to do is orient this slot in the ratchet body so that it is facing up. That one is generally facing up, so I'm going to go with it. What I want to do is take the loose end of the strap and feed it down into that slot uh, in a, such a way so that this hook is pointing down and this hook is also pointing down. If you notice, and I, I take it that this is universal for these straps, but I'm not sure, so you know, observe on your strap, see if it's the same. Um, see that dashed line? There's two lines on the middle of the strap. Those on all four of the straps that I have like this, they're identical on all four of them. Those stripes are on the outside of the strap if the hook is pointing down. So if you see that stripe, that means the hook is pointing away from that stripe. Um, so that has helped me so you don't have to like, you know, go along the whole length of the strap trying to figure out which the way the hook is pointing. If, if I can just pick up the loose end of the strap here, the very end, and I can look and say, oh look, stripes. That means the hook points away from the stripes. So I can know that if I put the strap down through this slot in that direction, then the hook is going to be pointing down because it points down away from the stripes. So I'm gonna feed this all the way through the ratchet body, being careful not to pull a twist through the slot. Okay, and I'm gonna go all the way almost to the very end. So this hook is pointing down. This hook is also pointing down. I've got the ratchet strap running downward through the slot in the ratchet body. Now, um, one tweak I did to uh, the method that Simeon introduced, uh, and he really translated it from uh, other videos that he saw, which I'm really grateful for, um, I added a mark on the strap. This mark is very important, and you'll see why here in just a minute. So, uh, but, First, I'm going to proceed to the next step of this process, which is now, so we got the hooks laying down, pointing downward. Now I'm going to flip it over so the hooks are both now pointing up. So the hooks are now, both of them are pointing upward. I'm going to lay it on the truck bed just like that with the hooks both pointing upward. I'm going to lay it down like that. Now I'm going to run out to the end of the strap and once again, Pay attention to these stripes. Um, I want these. I want to roll up the strap uh, in such a way that the stripes are on the outside of the roll. So, uh, and that that relates to the hook, which which direction the 
the hook on the end of the strap is pointing. So if your strap is different, then you'll have to do it differently. But what I'm going to do is roll it up so that the strap, the stripes are on the outside of the roll. So, and I just, I started with folding it like this. I think that makes it a little bit easier just for kind of getting it started and not having that, that end in there. So see how I'm rolling that up. Um, so now just roll it up completely. Um, it can be kind of hard to, kind of unwieldy to get it started. There we go. Okay, try to keep it as tight as possible. Uh, it's not a huge, super huge deal, but just keep it as tight, comp as compact a roll as you can. And it can get kind of tiring on your hands, so just kind of alternate different hand positions and methods. Um, you can find you can find faster ways of doing it, kind of experimenting with different positions with your hands and everything. This is working pretty decent for right now. So I'm trying to just roll it all up, keeping it as tight as and, and uh, straight as possible. Okay, almost there. About five feet left. Okay, so now as I get to the end, I'm gonna switch the camera view so you can see more detail here. Okay, so what we have now is our entire ratchet assembly with both hooks pointing up. This hook is pointing up and this hook is pointing upward. The ratchet's here, the strap comes through, and the roll is such that the stripes are on the outside of the roll. And really, that just makes it so that the strap comes from this end that's pointing up, the hook pointing up, comes in, goes up through the slot in the ratchet body, and then travels, you'll, it'll lay down on top of the ratchet body and then roll in this direction. And that's important. Um, so, now we've got it to this point. That's, this is where uh, in Simeon's, the method that Simeon showed us, um, there was a little bit of trial and error that you had to do every single time you rolled up the strap like this. You had to fine tune it. Um, you, you would put the roll in here and then you, you take this end from the ratchet body, the strap end that is attached permanently to the ratchet body. You roll it up like this and then you take the loose end and you pull over the top and you're supposed to hook this hook that you've just brought over. You're supposed to hook that into the end of the handle here. Problem is, uh, you have to fine tune it every time. Um, see, this is too short to make it down here, so I would have to un, I'd have to lay that back down. Then I would have to take, basically, you know, undo everything. Then lift up the roll, slide more strap through the slot so that my my strap coming out is longer. Um, and then lay the roll back down, pull the, you know, all of this, trying to keep the roll tight. Then put this back in place, then put the strap back over, and oops, problem. Now I'm trying to hook it, and now I have too much strap. See, the hook is too, goes too far, and it won't, it won't hook with tension on that handle. So that's no good either. So again, I have to redo it. So what I did, uh, I got tired of, of fine, having to fine tune it every single time I went to put the strap away. So. I realized all I needed was a Sharpie marker. I just took a permanent marker and I set it up once. I set the strap up one time and got it so that it was just perfect, so that I had just the right amount of tension, just the right amount of length to hook the strap over and get it hooked up. It was easy to do, but it was all, it also ended up being a tight, com, you know, uh, solid assembly. So what I did was. When it was perfectly, um, in fact, I'll just go ahead and do it right now, so I know it's in the perfect spot. Get it hooked up, lay that over, and see I have just the right amount. It helps if you kind of hang it over a tailgate or something, tabletop, something like that. I have just the right amount to hook it. It's a little bit tight, there we go to hook it over the handle and we're all set. Um, 
I knew that I had just the right amount of length because I have a mark on this strap and I showed you that mark earlier. I came in here with my permanent marker and I just put a mark on the strap right on the side of the slot. So I just came in here and I marked the strap. I'll show you where that mark is now. It's hard to see when it's inside like this, especially with the, the hard shadows I've got going right now in the sunlight. So I'm gonna undo this and show you exactly where that mark is. That mark is right, I'm gonna pull a little bit of strap out. Oh, there we go. See that mark right there? I line up with the top of the slot. So right there, it's aligned. I put the mark right there as it, right where it enters the slot on the ratchet body. And I know that that is exactly where it needs to be. I'll lay it down again and show you that it just, it works out perfectly right there. It's gonna be a little bit tight because I'm a little bit sloppy because I've, I've been, you know, moving this around and I'm, I'm trying to orient everything so that you can see it easily. Um, but even with all that monkeying around, see, it was still the right tension because I knew uh, where to put that line and I had that line in place. So, um, hope that's a uh, helpful tip for you to improve uh, this method. Um, so again, check out Simeon's original video on this where he describes it more kind of in detail, uh, more at length, uh, but I have really appreciated this. Simeon, if you end up watching this, thank you so much for passing that on, translating it for us. I really like this method. Um, it makes it super easy to um, toss all of your straps into a, I've got four straps, so I toss them all into a milk crate and they keep organized and uh, tightly bundled together for me to, to access them, but also to put them away and know that they're not gonna get tangled up in all the rest of my gear and with each other. So with that, I'll see you guys later. If you appreciated this video or got something helpful out of it, please give me a thumbs up and comment below um, on if you appreciate this method or any questions you might have. Uh, and always, as always, if you'd like to see more handyman tips like this, subscribe and you'll get more. All right, see you later.